No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to do physics. So what we're looking at here is a relative velocity problem from Unit 2. Um, this is the Agent Bond problem. And uh, this is uh, the 23.1. And in this problem, what's going on is uh, Bond is driving his Aston Martin convertible. Okay, But he's not just driving it on the road. He's driving it on top of a train. So here is the train, poorly drawn by yours truly. And the train is moving east at 15 meters per second. So there's the train moving horizontally east at 15 meters per second. So here's the train, choo-choo, 15 meters per second. Bond, on the other hand, here's his Aston Martin up here, poorly drawn by yours truly. It's moving at 23 meters per second to the west. Let's draw a better three there. Now, we need to figure out if Bond is on top of his Aston Martin in which direction and how fast does he need to jump so that the drink that he's holding, you know, the classic martini for him, is simply shaken but doesn't spill or become stirred, okay? So which direction does he need to jump? Does he need to jump to the left here? Does he need to jump to the right? And how fast does he need to make that jump? Well, let's start this off by just thinking about if Bond didn't jump, if he was just standing on top of the train, how would he be moving? Well, if we think about the train's motion relative to the ground with the Aston Martin, the train's moving 15 meters per second to the right, the Aston Martin's moving 23 meters per second to the left. So according to the ground out here, you know, Bond's moving this way and at the same time moving this way. So what's his relative velocity with respect to the ground? Well, his relative velocity with respect to the ground is eight meters per second to the left. Okay, so his relative velocity is 8 meters per second this way. If Bond never moved, that's how quickly he'd come off the train in the car. Okay, but we don't want Bond to move like that. We want it so that he's just like perfectly still. He's, you know, he jumps off the train here and instead of moving, instead of moving out in like some sort of arc or something, he just drops straight down. So how do we do that? Well, if Bond is moving at this 8 meters per second to the left, if he doesn't jump, and I need to cancel out all of this velocity that he has, well, then that means he should be jumping to the right. And how fast should he be jumping? Well, if he needs to cancel out this 8 meters per second to the left, that means he needs to have 8 meters per second to the right. So this problem didn't really have much uh, you know, physics -y math in it. But it's really a, a thinking problem. You know, how are things going to look like they're moving um, whenever you're looking at things relative to the ground out here? You know, because remember, this was our ground. And in this case here, um, you know, if the car wasn't moving with Bond on it, he'd be moving 15 to the right. Because the car is moving 23 to the left, we have this net of 8 here, and we need to cancel that. So he needs to jump to the right to do that. So it's more of a thinking problem. This picture really helps us uh, decide what's going on here, and that's why I always say draw a picture. Um, picture's worth a bajillion physics equations. Uh, and that's what's going on here. So we have our final answer there of 8 meters per second to the right. Um, or I think we said right is the east in this problem. But uh, yeah, that's it. And that's how you can... Uh, you know, keep Agent Bond here nice and safe and keep his drink safe as well. So with that, this problem is finished. Hope you found it helpful. If you've got more questions on it, let me know. Hit me up. Um, but with that, until next time, adios. Take it easy.